It is almost time for us to enter the second half of the Fontaine patches. We are now just four patches away until Hoyoverse releases Natlin in August. So I'm pretty sure everyone would be excited to know what Hoyoverse has in their store for the rest of the Fontaine arc, from version 4.6 to 4.8. And just for the record, we will only discuss about the new characters in this video. Before starting, let me answer some questions about the ongoing giveaway real quick. To participate, you just have to like that video, subscribe to the channel and comment something, anything. The winner will be decided via a random comment selector website. If you're on Discord, please join our server so I can contact you, it would be very difficult for me otherwise, and the results will be announced on March 12th. Coming back to our topic. Version 4.6 is expected to be released on April 24th, and it's shaping up to be one of the biggest patches in the Fontaine arc, as multiple sources claim the arrival of Arlequino is a playable character, a weekly boss, an expansion for the Fontaine region, and much much more. Arlequino has been confirmed to be a pyro character via her official appearance during the Archon quest. Based on leaks, her equipped weapon will be a polearm, with the role of DPS main carry. And as we wanted, Arlequino's signature has been leaked to be a sickle, which also refers to a scythe. If you want to know more about her, you can check out my recent videos. So Arlequino is almost confirmed to get a banner in 4.6, as to which phase she would be featured in, that's the question. As much as I want her to come in phase 1, I think she would be featured in phase 2, but this is just a speculation, since she'll become a weekly boss and stuff. So imagine the first time we get to fight her, everyone brings their own Arlequino, that would be hilarious, don't you think? So other than her, there's only one 4 star character who's expected to appear in 4.6, and that is the mummy girl from Sumeru. She hasn't made any appearance in the game so far, and I don't think any of the Sumeru characters know her personally, since they don't have any voice lines about her, that's why I'm not sure whether she'll be playable in the next patch or not. But, according to leakers, Sino will get the second part of his story quest, and the mummy girl could make an appearance during his quest. So let's just wait for the 4.6 official drip marketing announcement, which is just 4 days away. It's like every Fontaine character is a 5 star at this point, and Hoyoverse is now after our wallets. Moving on, version 4.7 is expected to go live on June 5th, alongside characters like Clorinde and Siegewind. As per the leaks, Clorinde is expected to be an electro off-field character, allowing her allies to regenerate significant energy after casting a burst. She's confirmed to be an electro character, and her weapon of choice is a sword. Siegewin is also leaked to be a 5-star unit wielding the Hydro Vision in a sub-DPS character. I told you they're coming for our wallets, every character in Fontaine is a 5-star. A reliable source in the community called WhiteFX, suggests that the main storyline of version 4.7 will introduce the Black Knight Sertologi. It would be the first time we will encounter Skirk's master and possibly learn more about the Abyss. They have also confirmed that Clorinde and Siegewin will debut as playable characters in the 4.7 update, and of course, both are expected to get their own story quests. Earlier it was expected that the Prison Girl or Goth Girl will also make an appearance in 4.7, but now the leaks suggest that she won't be coming in Fontaine anymore, and that she will be released in Natlin in version 5.0 or later. Version 4.8 will be the last patch before Natlin's release, and it will take us to yet another limited time map expansion, similar to Golden Apple Archipelago and Bellarium Mirage. It will introduce the Fontanian perfumer Emily and reveal more lore about the Hexenzircle. Emily is expected to be a 5-star Dendro character, and she too hasn't made any appearance in the game so far. Other than Emily, Dahlia is the only 4-star character who has some chances of appearing in the 4.8 banners. It is also expected that he could make his first appearance in 4.5 during the festival in Mondstadt, but it's not confirmed. Well that's it for today, if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.